Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to import font here in Canva. Let's begin. Increasing the DPI or dots per inch in Canva is important when preparing designs for high quality printing. Although Canva doesn't allow direct control over DPI settings, there are ways to ensure your design meets a higher DPI requirement for print, which is typically around 300 DPI. Okay, so once you are logged into your account, I want you to open the project or design that you are working. If you haven't already, you can choose from any of the templates or we can set the correct dimensions by clicking the create a design option here. Now, in my case, I'm going to upload a certain image. Go to uploads here on the. Uh... Now, I'm going to zoom in out for you guys. For you to be able to make sure that the uh, file is correct, right? Make sure that your final print is 8 by 10 inches. You can create kind of a design at 2400 by 3000 pixels. That's equivalent to a 300 DPI. For you to be able to know the aspect ratio of your Canva design, you might want to check in our channel on how to do that. Okay, but in my case, I'm pretty sure that I have created a design worth of 300 DPI. If you want, just go to the create a new design if you wanted. You can click on the custom design. From here, you might want to click on the pixel. All right. Now, put in 2400 and... 3000 okay so this measurement is equivalent to a 300 gpi now after that i want you to click on the share button because from here we need to make sure that we are downloading a pdf print format click on download and there's going to be an option that says pdf print which is best for printing okay so you see you have three more options here which say, which says crop marks and bleed flatten pdf and include notes all right now, basically, when you click on download, it's optimized for the best printing at 300 DPI. You have two options here. If you want to use the RGB, which is best only for digital use, like sending a file to your client or to your team member. But of course, we're using the CMYK, best for printing. But the thing is, you need to upgrade to the Canva Pro subscription before you can export that or save it as at 300 DPI. All right, you want to make sure on that. Now, another option is go to again to the share button. There is a PNG option. All right, you can use the slider for PNG and make it to the max until to the last button here. But the thing is, if you do that, you need to subscribe to the Canva Pro subscription here in Canva. All right. And I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.